All right, guys, so I bought this CPU. It's a AMD FX 8350 from a guy on Craigslist for really cheap. Try to get the focus with a bundle of other stuff. So it was worth it, even if it didn't work. And I got home and I realized these three pins are missing right here in the corner. Um, only three pins with any problems. None are broke, are no more are broken or bent anywhere on the CPU. But there's three right there in the middle of the screen towards that corner right there that are missing so what i've done is i've taken this cpu right here that i have it's an amd athlon 64 yeah i looked it up on amazon it's about five dollars it's a really old crappy cpu i took that blowtorch right there and i heated it up so all the epoxy or solder or whatever on this cpu kind of melts away and I dumped off three pins. The pins look like this. They literally just fell off that CPU. Where's it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Okay, there it is. Focus for me. There we go. See that pin? Yep. And then I cleaned them up with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to get the um, anything off of them. And now I'm just picking them up and putting them right where they should go in the motherboard. I don't know, CPU plug-in thing, putting them corresponding to where this will go. So the next one I'm going to put in is the third from the right of the top row and the second inward. So let me do that real quick. It takes a lot of focus to get this right where I need them and uh, you can see those two copper backs on that pin the pins I've already put in the theory is here I put them where they're supposed to be in the motherboard they'll touch the little nubs of the broken off pins and they'll hopefully work so I put it right in there yeah go in right there scratch up the back a little bit that way it's nice and clean Maybe wipe it off a little bit more. All right. Now I'm going to take my CPU again. I'm just going to look at it one more time, make sure those pins are in the right spot. Okay. In the second row, it's the fourth from the, um, it should be right on this side. Um, one two three four yep okay yep i think if i put my cpu in now those pins the little nubs on this broken cpu will touch the backs of those pins and uh hopefully it'll work so i'm gonna go ahead and carefully place my cpu in there it's gone in hopefully i didn't bend any keys that didn't go in really smoothly or any of those pins pushing down on it lock it in place okay now I'm gonna go ahead and build the rest of the computer still need to buy some parts I'm gonna go ahead and build the rest of it and then I'm gonna videotape it as I try to turn it on as you can see I've got really nothing put in there yet I've got all the parts laying out everywhere <sighs> go ahead and do that and uh, turn it on and see if it works hopefully it doesn't fry my motherboard I don't think it will um, yeah so, without further ado, stay tuned for the first, I guess, test fire of the computer and uh, see what happens. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so I just finished building my computer. I'm about to test it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up for the first time. And my screen's turned off. But it seems to be running. This is the first time I fired it up with the monitor, anyway. It's super loud that fan it's that case fan reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media okay I'm gonna take that as it's working all right guys this is just a follow-up video that's the computer right there with the CPU with three broken pins that I replaced um, and here's just to prove it's about a week later after the first test fire of the computer. I've got all the programs installed and everything. 
as you can see. As you can see, it's working fine, um, and I really haven't had any problems with it. Nothing, no error messages, other than when I, other than anything not related to the CPU that I've worked through already. So it's not been the CPU's fault. So there she is, brand new computer, three broken pins, fixed just fine, and works just fine. Hopefully that lasts. Uh, I don't. Um, plan on like overclocking or any of that crap making my CPU really hot uh, this is just gonna be a pretty much overbuilt normal computer so hopefully it shouldn't be too much wear and tear and uh, hopefully the CPU won't fail but if it does I might just uh, throw a, a comment in right here saying how long it lasted or something like that the day it fails I'll let you know like oh it lasted three months but anyway enough said um, if you learned anything in this video, please uh, like, share, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.